Welcome to Design Domination, where you'll learn to become a better, more business savvy designer so you can dominate your competition. Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Colleen Grotzer, and in this episode of Design Domination, I'm getting into stock photo licensing. <laughs> Sounds like fun, right? But seriously, I want you to be aware of licensing terms with stock photos because I know a lot of designers don't pay that much attention to them or they don't understand them because after all, the terms are not always clear and they're written in legalese. I mean, I've had to inquire with stock photo companies about their licensing because I don't understand some of this stuff and you know, I'm familiar with a lot of legalese, but some of it just, you know, it's open to interpretation. I also know that many designers share stock photos and also fonts <laughs> with their clients not necessarily thinking if what they're doing goes against the licensing that they agreed to. And I've seen that some designers have gotten letters from alleged stock photo companies claiming misuse of a photo or not having a license to use it. And sometimes these are spam, but sometimes they are legit. I once had a lawyer client get one of these letters from a stock image company and they asked him to pay, I don't know, think of several thousand dollars worth of fees for an image that he personally had not licensed to use on his website. His previous web designer had actually purchased the license and the lawyer was luckily able to resolve the issue without any payment, but that's not always the case. And I just want you to be aware of some things to look for when you're choosing stock images. You always wanna check the rights and the license to use them so that you don't open yourself or your clients up to potential legal problems. Let's talk about free images. Now there's tons of free images out there, but it doesn't mean that you can use them. Many of them come with strings attached. Now, most designers know this, but most of the images that you find if you do a Google images search, most of them are copyrighted. So you can't just use them in your projects. And free in terms of cost and free in terms of use are not the same thing. There are stock companies such as Freepik that allow you to use images free of charge, but they require you to give attribution to the photographer or the designer or the artist. And then there's others that allow you to use their images free of charge, but not for commercial use, only personal use. Now, having said that, just because you buy a license to an image doesn't mean that you can use it however you like either. Some stock photo companies will offer different types of licensing. They might have a standard license for one price and they might have an extended license for a higher price. And the differences between the licenses might be things like the number of print copies or impressions on a website, which they usually give a max of like 500,000. And then how you're allowed to use the image, like what you're allowed to use it on, like if you're planning to resell the item on a product or as part of a template, and then how long you're allowed to use that image. Like I've seen some that say a period of five years. But also when it comes to print copies or impressions or a time limit, who is gonna track that? Whoever licenses the image is responsible. So is that gonna be you or is that gonna be your client? And if you license the image, are you gonna be held responsible by the stock photo company if your client exceeds that? Now, you might also come across images that are designated for editorial use only. And these cannot be used in commercial projects. They can only be used for purposes of like news reporting, like in a magazine or a newsletter. And they usually cost a lot more too. Now, when you're searching, a lot of stock image companies allow you to filter out images that are for editorial use only because you don't want to find the perfect image and then see that it's for editorial use only and then you can't use it for how you need to. And trust me, I've run into this so many times. If you don't notice this though until your design is approved, then you're going to have to find another image and that can change your whole design. Some stock image companies might offer a custom license that allows you to use the image as the main element in a logo design because otherwise you can't usually do that. If you purchase a subscription to a stock photo company, you might only be allowed to use the images as long as your subscription is in force. So if you cancel, you may not be allowed to use the images anymore after ending the subscription. So that's definitely something you've got to look at. Regardless of any of these options that you might choose or which license you might choose, when you go to purchase a stock image for a client project, you usually cannot share that image with them. So many stock photo companies will allow you to use it in the project and provide like a final PDF, but not actually send the client the individual image file. So you have to check that too. And then some stock photo companies will allow you to buy an image or rather license an image on behalf of your client and name them as the licensee. But unfortunately, most of them don't have this option, which stinks, but some of them do do it. So you always want to know what you're getting into, what's in that license, what you're allowed to do with the images. 
Now, if you're looking for stock images that you can legally use, I've got a huge stock image directory of hundreds of image sources. And you can get to that by going to creative-boost.com and then go to resources and stock image directory. And while I'm on the topic of images, if you wanna find out how to add alt text to your images, be sure to get my alt text made easy guide at creative-boost.com slash alt text.